Hi, I'm Ethan Malloy, and I'm here with Charles Pascalia, Associate Head Coach of Women's Basketball. Now, Charlie, you played one of the toughest non-conference schedules in the country with games at Iowa, Illinois, and Xavier. How do you think this schedule has prepared you for the NEC? Uh, you know, when you open up the season against the Big Ten, you know, you have to worry about, you know, going into a hostile environment, going into a big arena. How are our freshmen going to handle it? Um, we, we're a relatively young team. We only have one senior and uh, most of our uh, younger players are in the starting lineup. So I think it prepared us to go into a stressful situation with the younger players and get used to playing at a high level. You know, so many teams will start off their season playing teams that are below them in the RPI or struggling to get wins and build up the team's confidence. But, you know, we have a lot of confidence in our coaching staff and in our upperclassmen that we would be able to keep our players, you know, minds focused and positive going forward and knowing that all these out-of-conference games were going to only be beneficial to us as they were tougher. And um, I think we gained confidence as we played with those level of teams, like Iowa being so close to them for the majority of the game, being within single digits inside 10 minutes, um, you know, really uh, shocking the crowd, I believe, and shocking the other team being in the top 20 in the country. I think they were 17 at the time. I think opening up that way, even though we took a loss that day, I think showed our players you know, you're capable of great things. There's talent on this court. Now we just got to continue to grow and learn from these processes of going into these big arenas. So I think it helped us a lot. And I think, you know, the, the, the conference season is, is a true testament to how tough you are going into it. Okay. Like you mentioned, uh, you have eight underclassmen on the team. How have they adjusted to the Division One level and how have they kind of come together and gelled as a team? You know, it's, it's, um, it's, crazy because you know we have our sophomores and and people look at them as experienced players now like Anna Nikki mm -hmm. you know um, Janae um, they they look at them as saying you know Judith and they had this year of experience and you know sophomore still a young player but on our team they are looked at as players with experience because they especially someone like Anna Nikki who played so much her freshman year she was a big part of this team as a freshman and um, you know with the freshmen that we have now this year uh, Megan Smith and Jocelyn Jones, Michaela Mulrain and Shakima Dacia, you know, they're getting thrown into the game at a freshman in key moments. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, obviously with Megan Smith, who's been a starting four spot for us when she's been healthy, she's handled a big load. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think as a freshman, it's tough to take on the fact that not only are you playing, but you're playing and you're starting, you're, you're uh, playing integral roles, you're getting the ball in key spots in the games, you're expected to to go out there and to perform. So I think our freshmen are really um, are doing a great job. I really think they are, I, I, and especially the sophomores too. I think Rebecca Navarro and Judith Soleil, who had limited minutes you know, last year, has now gone into a starting role at the center. Yeah. And she's doing a great job. She's had some big games for us, and a, you know, she's had a tremendous leap of um, progress, I would say, yeah. a tremendous leap of progress. She's, she's become now a player that we can, mm -hmm. we can start and we can get the ball to. So, the sophomores and freshmen are having a great run this year so far. This this three-game winning streak has to do a lot with our uh, our youth of our team being able to handle a bigger role. Yeah. The NEC schedule it got off to a rocky start with three losses, but you're back at it with three straight wins. Uh, what's been different between this winning streak compared to the first three games of the NEC slate? Oh, well, I think a lot has to do with just us dealing with uh, having a loss earlier in the year or losing a couple early in the year. Um, you know, some teams, when they go off to a, a blistering start and then they, they hit a little bit of a patch, um, they don't recover because they're not used to what it feels like to have to, to go back to the drawing board and regroup. Yeah. I think that's what's helped us a lot in the out of conference. Not necessarily that we lost, but we had to play such a tough level of team. So when we started off the conference year this year and we had some people come out of the lineup and go down and stuff and we had to fill people in. I think that um, our team got tougher and I think when we when we lost those two in a row uh, it was it was a t it was a tough it was a tough mental thing to go through but our freshmen and our sophomores 
they were battle tested already in the out of conference. So, you know, losing those after starting off, you know, with a 22 point win over Mount St. Mary's at home, everybody thought everything is rolling, everything's in place, and then we go out there and play a terrible game at St. Francis of PA and get beat over at third place, and then we go on the road and have to, you know, play at Central, who was off to a great start, and we lose to them. Uh, you know, it looked like most teams would probably crumble and never get that win, and then we come back and win a 39 point win. Yep. Oh, at Wagner, mm -hmm. and then we come back here for these two and take these two at home. So I think it's just the mental toughness that we're teaching the you know teaching the players that you know no matter what happens we got to move forward. If we win or lose, we got to stay steady. You know we don't want to have too big highs and we don't have big lows. And I think they're understanding that now more. And I think that's how we've you know gone into a three game winning streak. And speaking of that winning streak, how do you keep that momentum? Oh, you just continue to do what you've been doing the whole time. Whether you're on a three-game winning streak or you're on a three-game losing streak, you got to constantly break down film. Mm -hmm. you got to constantly come into the theater and, and, and look at the things you need to do better. Mm -hmm. You know, that's part of staying steady. You know, if you win a game, you don't want to forget about the things you got to improve on. Of course, we always enjoy a win. That night, you know, you celebrate, you're happy. You know, the team's enjoying it. They're proud of themselves. We're proud of them. But after that night's over, you come back the next day, you go to work. And I think that's what we'll be doing. You know, we'll continue to we'll continue to work, we'll continue to break film down, and we'll continue to find the areas that we need to get better at, no matter if we win or lose. So just expect us to continue to carry on this momentum by just continuing with our routine. Okay. And lastly, you have a pair of road games here against Mount St. Mary's and St. Francis Brooklyn, two teams that you've already beaten this season. Uh, what do you need to do to come again or come and beat them again? Well, you know, we can't take for granted the fact that we beat them the first time means that we're better. You know, right now this conference shows so much parity where, you know, anybody can knock anybody off on any given day. So really things are kind of being, you know, noticed now and decided as you go through these games and you play teams for the second time because, you know, they're going to make adjustments. We're going to be on their floor. We're going to have to go into that game with a whole new mindset. And we're really going to have to study the film to see where they're going to look at and try to, you know, predict how they're going to attack us. You know, what they're going to see on film and, and what they're going to see our weaknesses are. And then we got to get better at those things. So we expecting two very, very tough games. I mean, St. Francis of Brooklyn, uh, we beat them by three points here. And we shot the ball really well. So, you know, you're not always going to shoot the ball that well. So we're going to have to fix the other areas of the game that we struggled in that made that such a close game even though we shot the ball well. The other game at Mount St. Mary's, you know, since they lost to us that first game of the season, they went on and won four in a row after that. I believe they lost yesterday on the road, but they won four in a row after they lost us. So obviously they got some things fixed. Mm -hmm. And again, going into their place is going to be a tough environment. So, you know, we got to take this in stride and, you know, realize the teams are going to want you after you beat them the first time. And we're going on the road now, and uh, the road is a tough place to be. So um, just being humble and continuing to do our routine, we expect two very difficult games out there. Okay, well, thank you, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.